Hey everybody, uh, back with another one for you. Um, I don't know if you've seen those videos on GQ that kind of look like this, or this maybe. They're called My 10 Essentials, and uh, I thought it would be really cool to make one of those, but for me. And instead of calling them My 10 Essentials, maybe I'll call them My 10 Things That I Frequently Use A Lot On A Daily Or Semi-Regular Basis. <laughs> What's up, GQ? It's your boy Grayson. <laughs> These are my essentials. <laughs> Item number one, uh, we'll call this the Holy Trinity. Phone, wallet, and keys. Uh, if I don't have my phone, wallet, or my keys, I literally panic. My blood runs completely ice cold and I'm either unable to text or call people, pay for things, or drive my motor vehicle and or get into my apartment. So they're pretty important. Uh, I count this as one, uh, one item because it just kinda, you know, it makes sense. The Holy Trinity makes a little bit of a, like a triad. This, this triangle is not complete if one of the pieces are missing, so that's why, that's why it's one item. Phone wallet keys, gotta have it, all times. Number dose, backpack. You know, I, uh, I'm a big backpack guy. I always have been, always will be. I read some tweet the other day. Some dude was dissing this young guy. He was like, you know, back in my day, we used briefcases. If you, if you use a backpack to go to work, you're a loser. See, my job doesn't, I don't, I don't carry, I'm not a freaking attorney. I don't carry around legal pads and, and court documents, so I would kind of look like a douchebag if I if I used a briefcase to take my laptop into the office. So I just I go for the old backpackaroo here. I mean, this thing is is functional as crap. I put all of my other essentials in it. Gets the job done. I take this bad boy on airplanes with me and uh, gets the gets the job done. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. Gets the job done. By the way, Herschel's not paying me for this, but if they want to sponsor this video or me, I love your product, so hit me up. Number three. This one is a little bit small, so I don't know. You may have to just kind of, can you see it? Oh, wow, look at that. Uh, this is my this is my class ring, Virginia Tech class ring. I got this as a graduation gift for all of my hard work at Virginia Tech. I'm kidding. I didn't work hard in college. I was a comm major. We didn't do anything. So we kind of just coasted through. But regardless, it's a token. Uh, I'm a diehard Hokie fan. I don't think that's really a secret. And uh, I, I love this thing. I wear it a lot. I don't wear it as much as I used to. It just kind of like out of fear that I'm going to lose it. But if there's like a formal event or whatever, you can see that bad boy on the finger, so. Class ring. Item number four. This thing is probably the best $40 that I have ever spent in my entire life. It is a Mophie battery pack thing, and it's, it's pretty big, it's pretty hefty or whatever, but this thing has saved my life more than a few times. It carries like 11 charges in it, I'm pretty sure. Which is dope. It's like $40. This thing's cheaper than like the pocket size ones. But I literally take this thing with me everywhere. I take it on planes, car, literally to work every single day. Because sometimes like you're on a plane and the plane doesn't have the little outlet things and you're just like, well, I can't charge my phone or charge, I don't know, whatever, your iPod Nano. And so I, I bring this bad boy and I'm all good and everybody looks at me on the flight and they're like, wow, I wish I had one of those. So shout out, shout out to Mophie for making this thing. This is probably like one of the most, I mean, I use this thing every single day. Number five on this list, uh, hats, man. I'm a big hat guy. Uh, I just wear hats like all the time. That's probably why I'm gonna go bald by the time I'm 40. But yeah, I just, I always have to have a hat because this hair does not always look this good. So you know, you just kinda, 
And I just pop on the old Hatteroonie. Go Hokies, by the way. It just kind of keeps everything together. I have a very large head, so if anything, a hat makes my head look smaller. I'm, I'm a real big ball cap guy, like college ball cap. I'm a full-blown Angelino now. I never really liked baseball growing up or anything because I never played it. But uh, go Dodgers. Shout out Cody Bellinger. You're, you're kicking butt, man. And shout out to the Astros for cheating. Number six. I'm going to look like such a jerk for this one, man. AirPods, baby. Gotta have them. I was so skeptical about these little guys. I, I thought that I, there would be no way in heck that if I ever got a pair, I would ever be able to keep up with them. Or honestly, I never thought I'd get a pair to begin with because $160 for in-ear headphones, pretty expensive, but I bought them on impulse and I've had them for almost, geez, almost two years now. And I love these things. These are just kind of another thing that are always with me. Uh, I go on runs in them. Uh, yeah. By the way, plugging that I'm super athletic. Yes, you can clearly tell I am just chiseled. I make sure that whenever I walk around the airport, I have these in, especially at LAX, because then people think I'm making like big Hollywood movie deals, which I am definitely not doing. So, yeah. Number seven, crew neck sweatshirt, baby. I'm all about the crew necks. Honestly, hoodies, they kind of they kind of annoy me when they go up and they kind of ride up your neck and then it's like, I can't really pivot my head. So I'm all about the comfort. And uh, I don't know, I just, I kind of, I, I like the old man vibe of a crew neck. This crew neck is uh, from a podcast that I do with my friends, Pat Finn and Billy Ray Mitchell. It's called Sons of Saturday. And uh, you can buy one on sonsofsaturday.com if you want to. You don't have to, but you should because uh, I make money if you do, and also uh, they're really comfortable. But it's mainly because I make money, but they're also really comfortable. So go check them out. Definitely. Number eight, toiletry bag. This one's, uh, this one's pretty boring. It literally just blends in with my t-shirt. Look at that. I got this bad boy uh, at Walmart. What do we got in here? Toothpaste, cologne, nice. Uh, more toothpaste, toothbrush, some lotion, some deodorant. I don't know, it, uh, it, it helps me stay beautiful and, and smell fresh and not be gross, I guess. Personal hygiene is important, kids. Wear deodorant, brush your teeth. Nobody likes somebody who smells bad. Number nine. In 2019, a hobby of mine became reading. Uh, I was never a big reader. I actually talked about that in my last video, which is linked below if you want to go see it. Reading's dope. I, uh, I got into it and I really like it. I think it's therapeutic and I've learned a lot through reading. Some of my favorite books over the past year were Notes on a Nervous Planet. It's about like managing your mental health and everything. This is, a, this is a book I'm reading right now. It's called Originals. It's about how nonconformists move the world. Nonconformity is dope, especially, uh, I don't know, in today's age when everybody's kind of doing the same thing. Plus, if I'm on a bus or on a plane or a train or something like that, it's cool to have a book. Uh, it'll get you off your phone for a little bit and teach you something or something like that. And last but not least, I have the old reliable MacBook Pro 2014 Edition. Also, I'm a hype beast. You can tell by the stickers that I have on the back. This is literally the laptop that I went to college with. I've had this thing for five years and uh, I kind of, my mentality with it's been ride it till the wheels fall off and uh, the wheels have fallen off. The wheels have been off now for a long time and it's time to get a new one, but um, I've edited all my videos on this thing. This is the creativity, I don't know, hub. This is where I do all my videos and stuff like that. So this thing's been a great laptop, but it is time to close the proverbial curtain, if you will, on, on this bad boy. So yeah, kind of sad, end of an era. Shout out to uh, GQ for inspiring this, this video of 10 things that I kind of use on the daily or on a semi-regular basis. It's funny, I'm reading that Originals book and this is not an original idea. So, you know what, I really didn't think that one through when I, when I decided to bring that book up. Hmm, man, that's probably a bad look. But regardless, those are the 10 things that I can't live without. Don't copyright strike me, YouTube, please. That'd be really cool. Yeah, so. I don't really think about how to end this, but um, 
I'll see you in two weeks, I guess.